He ran toward her. He threatened to stab her with a needle after saying he was HIV positive. And then he came back the next day and threatened her again. And that's the same man who's now accused of harassing two teenage girls near Kaiser High School. Well, tonight, the victim of that previous incident is speaking out. And Manolo Morales spoke with her in a story you'll see only on two. Manolo. Yeah, Marissa and Howard, the woman does not want to be identified. She's afraid that the man who threatened her, Roy Richmond, will be out soon enough to go after her once again. 29-year-old Roy Grant Richmond has been charged with two counts of harassment. He's accused of stalking two girls from Kaiser High School on Tuesday. In February, he also went to a store in downtown Honolulu and, according to court records, told workers he has HIV and threatened to stab workers and customers with his hypodermic needle. A worker got on the phone to call police. He grabbed it out and ran at me like this, okay. full speed ready to just stab me and he looked at me straight in the eye and he just focused on me and he was going to stab me she says three men intervened so richmond ran away but then he came back the next day so she called police right away she said that oh why are you on the phone to the police and i'm like at that time i was really upset so i said yeah why are you going to threaten to stab me again and he looked at me and he's like yeah what if i did police arrested richmond and was found guilty on may 11th of terroristic threatening he received a 30-day sentence and was released on probation on May 22nd. When the woman heard that Richmond was arrested this week for harassment... I was shocked and I was appalled and I could not believe that he was let back out and there was no way to follow up on him, being that, you know, he has a serious background. She says she's afraid of what he might do next. Because he knows where I work. And he's, is he going to go there again? And that's scary. I have no way to control that. Now, Richmond remains in custody at OCCC and able to post bail of $1,500. Howard, over to you. I'm Anolo. Thank you very much.